where spirituality is our fashion statement. Welcome to my channel. Hey, what's going on everyone? Lace Empress here, where spirituality is our fashion statement. So today we're going to get into a reading of their true feelings towards you, who's ever on your mind, your person. This is going to be a collective. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? It's been a while. Um, just excited to do the reading. It was just like calling, calling me to do this reading. So here we are, here we are, here we are. I didn't really know what cards I wanted to use today, but I'm just going to go with the flow and make it do what it do. Let's get in your person business. Who's ever on your mind, these are their true feelings towards you. Let's get it. Let's go. Hope y'all doing good. Hope y'all doing well. I miss you guys. Let's get it. Let me see. We're going to do three cards. Wedding. Ooh. Religious factors and healing family issues what worth waiting for on the bottom divine time is at work in your love life So your person definitely feels like they're going to end up with you. Okay. Okay person <laughs> So So, you know, first card out is the strongest card. So, let's go, collective. Wedding. This situation involves marriage. Why am I getting... I don't want to say that this is out of reach. But I feel like there's work that needs to be done. Because we have religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and your spiritual path. So, your person, you guys may not be in alignment, per se, the way you guys were raised. And then in order to have a successful relationship. Is what I'm hearing from God is. Your morals and your values need to align. So I don't feel like your person's morals and values align so much with yours collective. As you would like. And your person is aware. This person that's on your mind. They are aware of that. So they're trying to do some healing. Healing where necessary is what I'm getting with this card. I know it says healing family issues. Yes, I can read. I see that. But what I'm getting with this card is healing where necessary. So your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So that is a factor in your person's life that affects their love life that has set the foundation for their love life as a matter of fact the parents the things that they see the way that they were brought up their uh, religious beliefs their morals their values what they consider to be right what they consider to be wrong so there is a lot of oh what can i say disalignment at the moment to get to here not to say that it's impossible, but what I'm saying is your person simply said is working on themselves. But they're working on themselves with these intricate parts that I just described. Number one is the religious factors in their life, their personal beliefs. They're trying to develop their own foundation with their personal beliefs. Because they don't know if your beliefs are correct collective or theirs or their parents. They're like trying to figure it out. This person trying to figure it out and healing family issues. They need to work on their relationships, their relationships in general with family, friends, co-workers, if necessary, just people in general. Their children. I see children here. There is a child on this card. I see children. They need to work on their relationship with several entities several factors of growth that they're looking to accomplish so that they can have a successful relationship with you collective mm. okay okay i like it first card out is wedding so the purpose of this reading is for them to tell you that they want marriage but with marriage, they know they have to work on themselves. There's nothing wrong with working on yourself. Your person has come to the conclusion that it's time to put in some work. I also feel that if they don't put in the work collective, you know that you're not going for it. 
And these are, I, I just want to reiterate that I feel that these two factors, religious factors and healing family issues are number one things that you both agree on that needs to be in alignment and needs to be worked on. That this person that's on your mind, you know that this is the number one thing. These are equal factors. No, Nothing is higher than the other. They both have to come together in a package, bundled, sealed, wrapped with a bow, saying that this is complete. I have fully healed. I have fully accepted. I have fully developed my religious belief, my moral values, my loyalty for this marriage to even happen for you guys to become one. Mm, okay. Okay. I'm going to get one more. Oh, that wanted to come out. I'm going to take it. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. So this person on your mind, they want you to give it a chance. They want you to stand in the fire with them and work on it. They don't want you to just leave them. They want you to be in that fire with them. They want you to be the person that they can call and be like, hey, I got this going on. They want you to have their back a hundred grand. Now, we talking about the person on your mind. I'm not getting really any energy from you collective as far as what you want from the person but this is what they want from you and if you feel like this person on your mind if you can't provide them with that then i say go for it because if you saying you're gonna provide a person with giving them a chance then it has to be worth it right i know we ain't crazy just giving people chances just to just to be doing something life is too short baby don't say uh lace empress said give this person a chance now nah, baby that ain't what I said. I said, if you feel that this is worth it and you would like to give it a try and you feel that the outcome will be a victory, then yes, go for it. But if you do not, then do not put yourself through it. Okay? Seriously. Because this person is ready. They ready. They just feel like their true feelings for you is wanting to be your happily ever after. And they feel that they can be your happily ever after with their healing. They feel at this time they are healing their selves to become a better person, to be in this connection with you, to be in this long lasting connection. Your forever love is what they want to be to you. But I feel like this is more of a convincing energy. Like, they are trying to convince you that they're worthy. Because it's saying give the relationship a chance. It's almost as if, collective, you've kind of let go. Because I'm feeling that energy from you now that I'm continuing the reading. Like, okay, you don't expect much from this person that's on your mind. But they want to give more than they have in the past. And this is their intention. But I know collective, I hear you saying, but will they do it? Will they step up to the plate? Will they do a 360 in order to make this connection possible? Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> will they? <laughs> Let's get some more information here. Love spell. Okay. You put a spell on them. This person that is on your mind is at a distance from you. I'm just saying distance. They're not down the street from you. They're not somebody that you can see every day. They're not. This is not a person you could tangibly touch when you roll over. So if you got somebody else in your bed, collective, that's not the person we're talking about, baby. You're thinking about somebody else. Somebody sleeping in my bed, my bed, my bed. That's not the person. Somebody that you do not sleep with every day. Because they are at a distance, honey. They at a distance. Ooh, let's keep it moving. What else we got? <laughs> Come on, clarify some of this. Okay, could be a water sign, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Or they could have this in their chart. Or this person could have some of the traits of a water sign. Like, I kind of feel like one minute they could be very loving towards you and then when they don't get what they want or it could be some type of um conflict that arises 
they could be very mean towards you. I'm getting a lot of Pisces energy as far as, you know, one way, one moment this way, then the next moment that way. But they still, I feel like this person is still a loving person. They just express their love differently dependent on the situation. Okay, depending on if they're getting what they want or if they're not, I'm going to keep it real funky. If they're getting what they want, they're going to be real sweet. They're going to be real kind. If you tell this person no or if you disagree with them, mm, they could be they could be mean. Come across real, real mean. What else we got? A spy. Ooh, they lurking. So this person on your mind is lurking. Someone's got that eye on you. They're doing research on you. So they're trying to figure out what you're up to, what you're doing. Okay, that's normal. And I'm saying that's normal, Collective, because everybody that has done something to their person or has broken up with their person that they know they're supposed to be with and they know that you're their person, Collective, they always look back and try to see what's going on to make sure you ain't got too far away to make sure they can kind of reel you back in when necessary or make sure... That that door is still open. So they're going to call you every now and again. Yes, they are. They they even might try to get to you through the children. If y'all got kids together or through a friend. Or they might try to hit you up through social media. They may even come to where you live and not tell you. And just be looking. And looking outside and trying to see what's going on. Because that's just as close as they can get without making themselves known. They trying to watch your move. So you got to be mindful of how available you make yourself to this person because I feel like the longer you make yourself available, the longer it will take for them to get themselves right, to come and fulfill the destiny of you guys getting married or the destiny that they project that they want to have with you. So the longer that you are available and the, the longer that you fall into that Oh, it's just an old friend. Let me talk to him type of energy. The longer it's going to take <laughs> for y'all to be as one. Okay? Yeah. Let's get one more. Patience. Oh! <laughs> Nobody likes this. Just a few more months. Good things to come to those who wait. So, your person asked you to get them some more time. Yeah. The person on your mind, they like, look, I ain't ready. I need more time. I need more time. So, you got sexuality on the bottom. Someone's still figuring themselves out. So, when I see the sexuality card, I get many messages. But the one that sticks out me to the most is the sexuality is not necessarily if they are gay or straight. No. I feel like if they want to be with one person. If they still want to explore their sexuality freely or if they want to settle down or not. Because you have wedding here. So we got to be mindful of what wedding is. Wedding just don't start at beautiful dresses, nice tuxedos, and um, a beautiful ambiance. The wedding starts after the honeymoon. Like the work goes into the relationship. A wedding means a relationship, a connection. Um, uh, as one team players on the same field not on the opposite of each other y'all on the same team you got to work together to get what you want in life that's what a marriage is it says wedding but the bottom of the card said this situation involves marriage so marriage is a word of commitment together so if this, if your person collective is still trying to explore their sexuality and trying to figure out if they want one or two of them or three or four of them, other people, then they're not ready for marriage. That's why they asking for your patience. Does see it all aligns? It all aligns. That's why they asking for your patience. But they know they're supposed to be with you, but they want to be outside too. I mean, how can you stop somebody from being outside and gaining their freedom? You would rather for them to get it out the way than to try to come back to you collective and be on BS. Because that's that wishy-washy energy I told you. One minute good, one minute bad, spying. They want patience. They're trying to figure out their sexuality. Do they want one person? Do they want two people? Do they want three people? Like, mm-mm. 
I'm trying to figure out what they on, baby. They tripping. Whew. Get your person, collective. Get your person, honey. For real. Let me let me take a sip of water, because they tripping. Mm-mm. Get your person. I'm going to dig a little bit deeper. Some I don't normally do in my readings, but I wanted to know... While this person is all up in all this sexuality, you spying on you, looking at you, what else they working on besides love? You know, because it takes more than just love to hold a relationship together. You need some finances. Who going to pay for the wedding? Who going who gonna pay for the home? Um, how they gonna contribute to the bills? Let's see where they're at financially. Yeah, I'm gonna get in a business. You came to the right place because I'm gonna check. So let's see what's good because I need to know can they afford my collective? Can they contribute to what we call life? Are they responsible enough to do that? Because when you I almost say when you inherit a partner, but <laughs> whatever. When you get with somebody, was theirs indebted to them and you put your name on that dotted line, you are possibly responsible for that indebtedness. So don't be a fool and not know a financial status of a person that you call yourself marrying or you call yourself dating Um and a committed connection because you don't want to fall down the rabbit hole of being in their debt and them not taking care of their responsibility so let's see what I get I mean three cards just came out is it saying keep is it saying keep we're gonna look at it but we're gonna put it back in because we need to know long denied work from home unexpected income okay so, I kind of feel like your person tried to get some money for some business endeavor that they may wanted to have. Some form of a business endeavor that did not go well. But they did get some, some um, unexpected income from somebody. Maybe they did some side jobs or maybe they got a job that they did not expect to get or took a job that they did not want. Okay. But they definitely, this person does not work from home because that was upside down. So they don't work from home. So let's see what we got here. I kind of feel like this is being too nosy, y'all. But hey, anything for my collective. That unexpected income came right back out. So your person got a little money. Did they make some investments? Because if you look at this computer and this cell phone, it looks like some stocks, some form of stock that they invested in that's going up. Somebody probably put them on some game or they're getting a return on the investment that they worked with somebody that's finally legit. Look at your person working with legit people. I feel like someone taught them a little game, gave them a little information about how to make money through stocks, and they may have made a small investment, and they're seeing some form of return. It could be $50. It could be 100 It could be a couple hundred dollars. But the fact is, it's. I feel like it's passive income that they are getting. Okay. Good job, person. What else collected? What else they got? Okay, so they going shopping with that money. They not saving. It's a weekend sale, men, women, 70% off. They going to get some clothes. They, they going shopping. They not saving that money. Let's get one more. Let's just, just see. Work from home. This keeps coming out for this person. So I kind of feel like this person wants to make this passive income their main job. I, I kind of feel like they want to make this their main job. Say get one more, one more. We see it here. Overspending. <sighs> I knew it. They going to blow this money. Blow it, blow it, blow it. They going to blow this money. They going to spend it on shopping, going out, doing things that they like to do of luxury is what this person is going to do. 
So what I'm getting from this overspending energy that I'm feeling, if you look here, um, one person looks very satisfied, the lady on the car, and the man on the car looks really sad, like, okay, I spent too much money on her. So maybe your person is coming towards you to spend some money on you or maybe give you some money. Or it's a possibility that they could definitely be spending their money on things that they don't need or a person that they shouldn't be spending their money on. Because this person definitely has kids with healing family issues here. So they're trying to make this passive income, their work from home job. They're trying to, they they probably sitting up watching some stocks as they have been learning that or some form of it or this could also be i'm getting another energy this could also be the person that they invested the money with so this person could be someone that they are close with or they could live with this person and that person could be up watching the market you know seeing what's up what's down making the investments but as this person receives money from that investment they just shopping and blowing it they blowing it on themselves. They could be blowing it on other people. They could be taking their friends out. A person that they could be dating or seeing. Yeah. They just turn it up. Put it that way. They turn 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 it up. Yeah, they turn it up. Alright. <laughs> this reading getting a little long, but I just want to give y'all all the tea, okay? I want to give you all the information so you can make an informed decision. Don't ever say that I didn't look out for you, because I did. Let's see. You get some final messages and see what this person, um, what else they want to say. Because they done told on themselves, baby. They done told all the way on themselves. Okay. It says, it's important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone. Instead of placing your focus on one another, now is the time to give to yourself. So this person in a selfish mode. Okay, let's make it plain, make it clear. I know this car tried to sugarcoat it, but I'm not a sugarcoater. Okay, this person is in a selfish mode. They don't want to be worried about you. They don't want to be worried about nobody. They want you to be on their time. Okay, if you haven't noticed throughout this reading, this person is asking you for something. They're asking you for time. They're asking you to give it a chance. They're letting you know that they want to get married. They're letting you know that they're spying on you. But they have asked you three things. Give the relationship a chance. Give them more time. And allow them to be selfish for right now. Because they need to spend some time alone. And they ain't got time to be focusing on nobody else. They need to give to themselves. All right. <laughs> and for real. I thought this, this I'm about to say wedding. I thought this reading was going to go a little bit other way. But it's like half good and half bad. So this person, like I said, they got two sides to them. So... This is probably why you guys could be in separation because you don't know which side you're going to get. But the fact of the matter is they are saying that they are working on themselves to come back towards you. But in the mean in between time, that other little devil side, they're going to party. They're going to kick it. Even though they probably making proper investments and making the money, they're going to blow it because they just want to have fun. I keep hearing that song, girls just want to have fun, oh girls just want to have fun, so your person telling you they just want to have fun right now, but they'll catch you on the flip side when they done um, figuring out their religious factors and healing their family issues, but in the meantime, in between time, they going to party like a rock star, for real, anyway, this has been your collective feelings, their true feelings, for the person that's on your mind, hopefully I gave you some insight and you got some understanding of where your person is coming from if you were confused. If not, hopefully it gave you some confirmation and helped you with your decision making. But until next time, guys, let intuition be your guide.